starting in 5 seconds the plaintiffs submit that the present plea relates to the denial and non recognition of the beneficial interest of defendant number 2 of the shares held by the defendant number 3 4 5 6 and 7 in defendant number 1 the cause of action arose on 31st december 2016 when the draft consolidated financial statement of defendant number 11 records deconsolidation of its accounts with those of defendant number 2 for the reason that there is absence of confirmation of beneficial ownership from the legally registered shareholders of the entities thus on 31st december 2016 it became manifested that the recordal of declaration of beneficial interest of the defendant number 2 would no longer be caused to be made by those in control of defendant number 2 and its affair namely defendant number 3 4 and 7 and which hostile action led to not only the denial of the recording of the beneficial interest of the defendant number 2 but also to deconsolidation with retrospective effect of its accounts with defendant number 11 with the deconsolidation of accounts it became clear that a hostile action denying the beneficial interest of defendant number 2 stood taken by defendant number 3 4 and 7 the cause of action further arose on 7 july 2017 when defendant number 1 refused to acknowledge the beneficial interest in the suit shares the cause of action further arose when defendant number 1 through defendant number 10 on 27 july 2017 once again refused to acknowledge the beneficial interest in the suit shares the cause of action further arose on 12 november 2017 and 24 november 2017 when newspaper articles being in public knowledge suggested that the equity of the defendant number 1 is being sold to private equity investors through a bidding process and the present investors including the defendant number 3 to 7 along with the defendant number 8 and 9 are attempting to sell their investments in the defendant number 1 and exit the health insurer the cause of action further arose on 21 December 2017 when newspaper articles of the Economic Times being in public knowledge suggested that the five companies have been shortlisted to purchase the defendant number 1 and that the floor price of 5500 crore has been put for the sale by the defendant number 1 the plaintiff thus wanted to declaration uh, to the effect that shares in the Indian company which are held by defendant number 3 to 7 in fact belong to defendant number 2 company since defendant number 2 did not come forward to make the said claim derivative action was filed by the plaintiffs on its behalf to the aforesaid effect as per the plaintiffs the high court of madras at chennai had the jurisdiction to entertain the same in as much as one registered office of the indian company is in chennai to the investments made by the defendant number 2 were made in the indian company in chennai and three substantial part of cause of action as reflected in the correspondence letters exchanged between plaintiff number 2 and defendant number 1 and 10 arose in chennai the contesting defendants questioned the territorial jurisdiction of the madras high court to entertain the said suit on the ground that no cause of action available to the plaintiffs to maintain the suit arose within the jurisdiction of the said court in substance 
the plaintiffs were attempting to resolve the dispute between the shareholders of the company though all the shareholders are residents and national of dubai moreover they are claiming that those share are in the names of defendants number 3 27 it is defendant number 2 which has the beneficial interest there in and even defendant number 2 is a foreign entity which is covered by the foreign law likewise the inter se relationship between defendant number 2 and the plaintiffs is also covered by the foreign law it was additionally contended that the claims made by the plaintiffs are not enforceable even under the companies act 1956 or the companies act 2013 as far as inter se disputes between the plaintiffs and the contesting defendant who are all shareholders of defendant number 2 are concerned they have arisen in dubai which is outside the territorial jurisdiction of chennai mrs c a sundaram neeraj krishan call and other learned senior counsel appeared for the plaintiffs in substance their argument was that the learned single judge of the madras high court had rightly allowed the application for leave to file the suit after satisfying that the court at chennai had the territorial jurisdiction to entertain such a suit which was derivative action taken out by the plaintiffs on behalf of the defendant number 2 it was highlighted that even if defendant number 2 was a dubai company of which plaintiffs and defendant number 3 to 7 were the shareholders dispute was in respect of shares in defendant number 1 which was an indian company having its registered office in chennai from the date of its incorporation stop